Hello everyone, I'm Doug with B&H. Today, Kenta is here with me from Sony. He's here to show me some new cameras, uh, along with an enclosure, and we're gonna start with the Alpha 6500. Now, we were here just a few months ago about the uh, Alpha 6300, so what is the biggest upgrade here? Right, the biggest upgrade that a lot of people are gonna notice is the in-body image stabilization. Uh -huh. So a lot of people have been requesting that, especially the video people, so we've been able to incorporate that in almost the same form factor as the 6300, so we're really happy with that improvement. Videographers are a vocal bunch, right. uh, I know. Uh, <laughs> I would say in-body stabilization is something that a lot of people want. What was some of the feedback that came in for the uh, 6000 and the 6300 that was implemented here? So we're trying to make uh, this camera better and better geared for more the professional user. So what we've been able to incorporate finally is the touchscreen. Mm -hmm. So we finally have touchscreen, both usable for still and video. Um, when you're looking through the viewfinder, the touchscreen will also operate as a touchpad. So what you're able to do is using your thumb, you can change the AF points um, anywhere on the screen. So that's really useful. If you haven't used uh, anything like that, try it out before you dismiss uh, a touchscreen uh, on a mirrorless camera because they're quite useful. Besides that, we also increased the buffer which a lot of people, you know, like the fact that the 6300 can shoot 11 frames per second, yeah. but, you know, and the buffer was limited, so you couldn't really shoot to your heart's content, right? But now, with the 6500, you can shoot about, you know, 20 seconds, more than 20 seconds, and that oh, results wow. in, you know, over 200 images, so uh, it becomes a really a workhorse camera. So along with the benefits of the um, AF um, performance with, from the 6300, plus the embodied image stabilization with you know, improvements like touchscreen and also the increased buffer, you have a really complete package um, ready to tackle any kind of shooting, especially sports or action. Yeah, no, I was gonna say, especially for those who, who really have to just let the shutter go right. uh, full blast, having that increased buffer means a lot. Um, so no, no, it's good to see that it's really aimed at uh, workhorse professional use. So now that, that covers most of what's new. There's a lot to talk about though with the uh, RX100 Mark V. Where can we begin? So for this camera, it's actually the sensor has been improved. And the improvement point is that it now has hybrid AF. So it has contrast detection, but also focal plane phase detection AF, which is really great because combined with the compact body and the image processing power um, powered by the Beyond's X and also the front end LSI um, processor, we're able to kind of mesh um, both resolution, high speed photography and AF all into one really capable camera. Um, and this camera now can tell uh, three worlds first. Um, the first one is it has the uh, world's most uh, AF points. So 315 AF, uh, focal plane phase detection AF points. The, the most out of any compact one inch uh, camera out yeah. there. It only takes 0 0.05 seconds to acquire focus, which is the same as the 6500. Um, so they both share that world's, uh, world's fastest title. But it now shoots from five frames per second uh, from the RX100 Mark IV, now all the way up to 24 frames per second on the RX100 Mark you went, I love how you went from five to 24. Yeah, it's like, it, normal, it's two things per year, yeah. except this time it's just five to 24. Yeah, 24 <laughs> frames per second. And we acknowledge that if the buffer depth isn't that big, it's not usable. So we uh, did have, a, um, we do have a very big buffer on it. So you can shoot, you know, 150 images, no problem. So that's about six seconds of wow. continuous shooting. So this sounds like it has pretty much almost every uh, professional or just like high quality feature that you would want from uh, an interchangeable body. Am I forgetting something? <laughs> Uh, I think you're, yeah, you're, you're getting to the point, I think. Yeah. The concept behind the RX series is we want it to be the sub-camera for a professional photographer. And it's coming to a point where you're not sacrificing mm -hmm. or compromising any of the features that you really need from an interchangeable lens camera. So now it has great AF features. It has great um, 4K video quality as well, which we can get into. Um, but yeah, it's a, just a great package. Wow. Yeah. 
Um, well, yeah, what, what about the video? What, um, is there any particular feature that uh, is either exclusive to or also benefits the video? Right, so the hybrid AF that we talked about mm -hmm. does also work in um, video as well. So the, the transition uh, from um, one plane to another plane is much faster and easier to mm -hmm. the eye. It also has built-in ND filters, which oh. is really great for outdoor shooting as well. Um, and then all the 4K features you want, really, like S-Log2, you know. <laughs> um, so yeah, um, zebras, you name it. All right, let's talk about the enclosure then. So the enclosure is for the, uh, all, all of the RX series, correct? That's correct, yes. Well, the RX 100s. Right. Is there anything particularly unique about how this works with the RX series? Uh, the benefit of having uh, a Sony-made underwater housing is that the tolerances are tighter, so mm. you're sure that you, know, you won't have any leaks with, uh, with our housing. Also, the capability of adapting the ring so you can pull focus right here. That was something, yeah, that was, yeah. That was something that came out to me right away. Right. Yeah. Yeah, so you have this dial here, which you can move around. You also have a host of all the buttons, um, which, um, oh. which, wow. Yeah, so you can That's practically, very specific, yeah. practically yeah, reach any menu item that you want with this housing. So, and it'll go all the way to 130 feet. Um, it's just a, a great addition to your RX100 camera. Very nice. All right, so everyone, this is the Alpha 6500, the RX100 Mark V, and an underwater enclosure for the RX. So thank you for watching, everyone. Thank you, Kenta. Hope you enjoyed. See you next time.